What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Worst Experience. I'm your host, Lila, but I'm not alone. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Nathan. Hi, everybody. It's your girl, Lisa, also known as The Next Big Bang. So, um, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, we're reading anonymous confessions today, you know, we're doing that. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. So, the first confession goes, hello. Hi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> since uh, we're open for confessions, I'm going to tell you why I've been single for one year and eight months and I don't have a girlfriend. I was going to visit my girlfriend or ex on Saturday and I heard a guy moaning. I sneaked into the door and regretted the decision. The worst one ever. I saw her licking this guy's ass like it was a mango or something. I froze, not knowing if I should enter or go away. When I walked away, she yelled my name, meaning she saw me. I never ran that much since I was a child. I didn't want to hear any explanation nor excuse from her. That's, that's crazy. Okay, but why would you go in in the first place? That's, that's crazy. It's giving you found what you were looking for. Hi, key, because like you heard what was going on. But let me just say something. Okay, but this is a girl. But people that eat out have a special place in heaven. Hi, key. I could never. <laughs> I could never. What? You wouldn't eat yet. Eat what? Yet. Nyash. Nyash. Yes. N- no way. Like you, you wouldn't eat coochie. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't eat coochie. No, 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 no. No. I am a, I am a man of God. We don't partake <laughs> in such activities. No, Period. no way. Man of God. No way. No way. That's that's the, no. That's crazy. That is wild. But yeah, no. He he high key got what he was looking for. Like that is so crazy. You hear moaning, you choose to go in still. That's crazy. And I mean, the curiosity must have driven him still. Like, I would have gone to see what, what going on in it. But wait, please read the intro again. Was he yeah. going to see a girlfriend who is now an ex? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I just needed that. Yeah, because I was also just like, uh, oh, okay. damn. So trauma is a real thing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I hope you heal. How much is how much is therapy sessions? Like 900 grand a session, man. But the thing with men is, man. The thing with men is... Men will get heartbroken in like first grade by a girl who refused to give you like a crayon and they'll carry that trauma throughout their relation, their whole lives, in fact. Yeah. That's so crazy. So this is a guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's not finished. Um, the thing that haunted me terribly and my parents are still asking about her. She tried talking to me, but I ignored her and never looked at her. But on the 13th of October last year, we met and she chilled with my gents, so I had to leave. Next day, um, heard she overdosed on painkillers and left a suicide note written my name. I threw it away when they said she survived. That's deep. Do I laugh or cry? <laughs> that is deep. That is, that is actually, that is crazy. It is so crazy. But that's victim mentality. I don't feel sorry for such people. Sorry. How do you feel about it, Nathan? I don't know how to feel. This is, this is insane. That's insane. But that's so crazy because, like, imagine um, somebody writing a suicide note mm. and your name is written on it. Like, how do you Wait, feel? Did she, did she do it? No, she okay. didn't. She okay. survived. She survived. But imagine if she didn't survive. Like, you'd feel guilty. There is a sense of guilt, right? But my take on that is that, like, suicide is never, like, a one factor. Not one, like... Not a single thing can cause suicide. Like, mm. it's, it's probably it's built up. up. Yeah, it's yeah. built up. So, I mean, there will be guilt for, like, but that's some time. But life goes on. Guys, people go through a lot, eh? Like, no, but you can't be suicidal if you're the one that's wrong. You have a I'm sorry to the both of you guys. Go to therapy. Love and light. <laughs> okay. Um, second confession. Uh, getting led on by my girlfriend's mother. What? Okay. What? <laughs> okay. That's, I'm, I'm interested in this one. That is crazy. Okay, that's, that's all they had to say. That's wild. Your girlfriend's mom leading you on? Mm-hmm. No worries. I feel like he's confusing leading on for maybe something else. Mm-hmm. Just hold it, yeah. I don't really feel like... I don't think that's completely true. Yeah, I think so. Nah. So that's the, that's the full confession? That's, that's the only No, confession. no, no. The story is so short. That, like... You gotta come back with the 
We need a part, 50 part Wait. series. Yes, please. Who's, who's leading who on, though? That's the thing. I don't know. The guy's claiming that the girlfriend's mother led him on. Yeah. Okay, but tell us the full story. <laughs> Oh, here's, here's, here's another confession um, Tried getting back with my ex And realized there is still a terrible person Ew Yeah Sorry Don't, 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 go, don't go back to your ex Why are you going back to your exes? Don't. Do you have a favorite ex? Me? Yeah No I'm, I'm, I'm move on quick Do I have a favorite ex? I used to I don't know more Do you have a favorite ex? No, I don't. <laughs> Why don't I try? No, going back to X is the dumbest thing you can do, honestly. Just move on. But people change. It's not the dumbest think, thing, but like, think people I wouldn't do it, but I understand why people do it. Also, I have a question for you guys. Like, um, Would you rather catch another body or would you rather go back to your ex and let them tap it again? Get another body. Same. Why? It depends on why we broke up with the person. Like, It's like... Going back to someone who, where things ended bad just because you don't want to catch another body is stupid. It's small minded thinking. Because now you're going to what? You're going to stick to that person for the rest of your life because you don't want to catch another body. <laughs> That's how you build attachments like, to your ex and yeah. you won't be able to move on. No, I feel like guys are less conscious about their bodies, but women are like, we'll yeah. go back to the ex. So for me, I don't really mind per se, but I know a lot of girls that like, it's different. Also, uh, something else that I, I learned was, do you guys believe in soul ties? Do you guys know that if you, if you smash a girl on her period, it's actually like a ritual. Like you guys are actually binded like that. And that's why it's like, it's so difficult to move on from a girl that you smash that's on her period. I ask my exes. I can't relate. Oh, you guys, you guys can relate. Me, me when it's time to move, it's time to move. Y'all know. I've never been bound to someone. You've never? Yeah, not like that. It's like, it's never that deep. Like, have you? I'm, I, I detach easily. Mm, no, I don't, I don't bound to no one. That's, guys, that's crazy. But there was I a think situ- it's in your mind. It's all in your head. If you feel mm. like, because I had to this person on my period, um, we're so tied. It's, do you guys know delusion? It lives in your head. If you don't overthink it like that, then it's just a thing that happens. But because now it's a thing that you wear off and you sort of engraved in your mind that, listen, having sex with this person on my period is like a ritual. You're going to believe that you're tied to that person. You'll dream mm. to them. You look for signs where there aren't signs mm. eventually. And mm. you, you were saying that... No, there but a- there was a situation when I stepped with this chick and she said she was spiritual. Like, and I asked her, what kind of spiritual are you doing? And thank God it wasn't any judge because... <laughs> any? Any, you know, judge. You know what the judge is? Oh. Yeah, I know judge. Oh. Like witchcraft. Oh, okay. Yeah. Juju. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank God it wasn't Juju. because then I would be experiencing different things. Because some women, they do, they go on these assignments, right? They go and find men That's... and they, <coughs> yeah, they sleep with them and to ruin their life. That is scary. So I'm very careful around women that are very spiritual because I don't want to catch nothing like mess up my life or, yeah, that's, that's crazy shit, man. Yeah. Okay. Women who you'd go on these assignments. That's mad. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? Mad, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Mad, isn't it? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, last confession. Um, me and this girl got together two days in the relationship. We linked up and she asked why I told my homeboy about our relationship. I mised. Uh, got home, called my homeboy, asked him why she questioned me earlier on. And he said she recently sent him nudes. And he asked, isn't she with me? And she said, yeah, never mind about him. And I questioned my boy for not telling me, but A, he liked it like that. That is so crazy. That's wild. That is crazy, but I feel like entanglements are a thing in South Africa, hey? Like, I don't, I don't believe in like entanglements and stuff. You always find yourself in one, whether you want. Like, guys, there's a shortage of, there's an imbalance of men and women. So somewhere... Somehow, I'm not saying I advocate for it, but it's there. Like you have to, like if if you don't want all of me, I'm not gonna give you half of me. Real. Yeah, you know. Real. And also, why are you guys sending nudes? Like, why are you teasing niggas? Don't do it. Come see it in person. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we're going to move on to the worst experiences. So I'm gonna give you 
a worst experience to read and you as well. Is that okay? That's okay. okay. Perfect. We'll start with Nathan. Right. All right. Same gen from last year, right? When we started speaking, we had a little too much to know mutuals and IG. As time goes on, we have 21 mutuals and IG. All of them are my people. His account was private. I feel like this gen just wanted to know everywhere, to be honest, anyways. There would be times when he would ask me to add my friends on a call for his boy, and I did that, not knowing he's going to take these Hans numbers for himself. These people then start talking, and I only found out a couple of months later, you guys know the drill, he was, he was talking sweet and made me forgive him, and I did. December, we ended things officially, or so I thought. Then the beginning of Jan, this boy posted a video of him and this other hunt he knew because of me. And the friend's caption was, my boy is so happy. All along, they were dating <laughs> or talking or whatever they were doing. Mind you, every time I posted us, this hun was always commenting on how cute you were and all of that. Yo, I cried. This gent put me through the most. That is so crazy. Like, first of all, before we get to relationships, I feel like it's very awkward or weird if you introduce me to someone and I start chilling with that person in your absence. You understand? Like, we can gel, but like, don't make it a habit, guys. It's it's, it's yeah, something's it's weird. Yeah, it's very no, weird. like it's it's really weird. Also, people are such vultures. Like, I don't know if y'all have seen, but when when you're in a relationship. People would always want your person. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like they would always want to to be in your position, but they don't know what it takes to play the role. Mm. Exactly. And like to add to that, like people want what you have, not necessarily the person, because people would go for a guy that they've previously rejected, but not because they see you with that person. And they don't understand that people experience people differently. Thank you. Just because mm. he treats me like this doesn't mean he's, he's gonna, gonna treat, treat you, you the like same. Exactly. You understand? That's what people don't No, understand. no, I can relate to that because every time you're in a relationship like, all the girls, all the huns that rejected you, they all now want you. Have you, have you noticed that? Like, they, everyone wants what they can't have. That's, it's that kind, kind yeah. of thing. So, it's crazy. Yeah. No, it's wild. I don't know. Like, people are just... People are weird, man. Like, don't be weird. Why are you weird? It's weird. Yeah, and also a lot of people... I think for myself specifically, like, I'm someone who's very out there and confident. And, like, people will go for... Not even relationship-wise, your friendships or whatever... Because they, they're trying to prove a point to themselves that mm. they can do that to you. It's not even sometimes about your man. It's about who you are. You understand? Mm. Do you think that stems from like insecurity on their end? Because they want to prove something to themselves. Yes, insecurity and envy. Mm. Like a lot of people, you know when people say things like, you think you're better than me? Yeah. Yeah. They start... Um, they want to convince themselves, even though it's not a narrative that is true, but because it's in their head, they want to convince themselves that they're on the same level as you. Mm. So they'll try and go for everything that you're going for, just to sleep better at night. If it makes them sleep better at night, then good night, boo. But the guy's weird in this instance. Why is yeah. he? Why are mutuals growing? Super weird. Oh, no. Super weird. No. That's like, crazy. So she must be like following and unfollowing, like just following his guys, isn't it? Just to. Yeah, it's crazy. Man. Yeah. That's wild. Okay. Um, Next. Are we on number two? Okay. So this worst experience says, um, high school prime days. This was a long time ago. I went to this rapper wannabe. (laughs) First red flag. I went to this rapper wannabe gent of mine. It was a Saturday. And I lied and said I'm going to school to my mom. She gave me transport money and I left. Second red flag. Mind you, I'm leaving Orange Farm to Deep <laughs> Okay, to Deep Cliff at 8 a.m. so I can spend the rest of the day with him. Ah, cool. I get there. We chill. Everything is all cool. Time for the deep pillar. I'm a virgin. How I woogie. I woogie. <laughs> that, that translates to it's, it's just not... It's not standing up. It's, it's not, okay. it's it's not, not participating. It's absent. Um... We spent the whole day trying to vusa eat, like, <laughs> so they basically spent the whole day just trying to, like, trying to, like, he wasn't getting hot. Yeah. Oh. So they spent the whole day trying to. Oh, trying to get him hot. Yeah. Okay. Nigga blamed it. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga blamed it on eating a lot of sugar. I let it slide and kept on trying. 
head, hand, head, hand. Nothing worked, Baba. Guys, now it's 5 p.m. I'm supposed to go home. I left without it and I never looked back. That time I'm sick as fuck. Nigga, just say you gay. Um, I'm joking. It happens, but it was embarrassing. <laughs> that's the content. Whoa. <laughs> that's, that, that's crazy. Like, it's a whole shift. 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. is crazy. No, honestly. That is wild. Yes. I feel like... I feel like Nathan could also understand. It's called performance anxiety. It happens at least once. Okay, okay. That's one explanation. You can have performance anxiety yeah. where you just don't get hard at all. But to go from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you're not even getting hard after even you jerk it like nothing utter for, for that long. <laughs> Well, like this guy has a, has a bigger problem. Please yeah, visit the men's clinic. That's crazy. That damn. No. But for me, I I have a question. Like, did she prepare for this? Because she states that she was a virgin at the time. Wouldn't she be relieved if she was a virgin and it wasn't like? Because for me, like, when you're a virgin, sex is like. Like it's like you you're anxious. Yeah. So I'd be relieved if I have to postpone it. Like, okay, not today. Mm. Let's go watch a movie. <laughs> else, like, you understand? But yeah, traveling that long of a distance is crazy. For how far is it from like Orange Farm to Deep Cliff? I have no idea. Forty-five yeah, minutes. Okay. Oh, okay, it's not that far. 45 minutes. You travel 45 minutes and it's not going to wake up. To see up. a nigga, you lie to your mom. It's not going to wake up. You lie to your mom. She gave you transport money. It's not going to wake up. I should have just, you should have just gone to school. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's crazy. That, okay. that is wild. That, that was that. Okay. Um, yeah. Shout out to you guys for joining. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, where can our subscribers find y'all? Nathan Peters on all platforms. That's um, Instagram, YouTube. You can find me everywhere. Um, next big thing on all platforms. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.